You might be asking yourself, why is this sweaty guy wearing motorcycle gear when it's 100 degrees? Well, pretty much because I have the opportunity to ride this. Hi everybody, this is Chris Kuhn. I'm a regional business manager with Triumph Motorcycles North America. Now in layman's terms, that pretty much means that I'm a factory rep who gets to ride the world's most distinctive, premium, authentic, and cool motorcycles ever. Uh, and I get to do them on a bunch of really cool roads too, so that doesn't hurt. Uh, anyway, this is my first go at having a vlog on YouTube, so please be nice and uh, hit the like button wherever that is. And I promise you that the video, the audio, and the editing will all get better. But in the meantime, why don't we talk about the 1500 mile journey that I just took on my 2017 Explorer XCA from St. Louis, Missouri to New Orleans, Louisiana. It was epic, a lot of fun. So let's go over some of the benefits and the features of this bike. Thanks. All right guys, the first thing to understand about this new Explorer is that the range has been completely redesigned for 2017 both aesthetically and mechanically speaking. Straight off, you're gonna notice the electronically adjustable windscreen up front. There's also a completely redesigned cockpit. Fuel tank shroud. As well as a new front beak and a new front fender. The Explorer range also gets a whole new rider and pillion seat setup, which on the XCA are both heated. Other items standard on the XCA include heated hand grips, off road lamps. a larger and slightly wider touring windscreen, an aluminum radiator guard, an aluminum bash plate, engine guards, off-road pegs, as well as Triumph's Expedition Rack System. Other goodies include twin power ports, front and rear, and also specific to the XCA is a rider selectable power mode, giving the bike five different modes to choose from. And these are road, rain, sport, off-road, and of course the rider selectable. Also should mention at this point, the hill hold control. And this is a unique feature that is switchable. And what it means is basically you can cram onto the front brake and the system will lock the rear brake. So if you're on an incline, um, bike is nice and steady. And all you have to do to engage is either ride right off or just love tap the front brake, deactivating the hill hold system. It's a pretty trick. The redesigned motor retains its 1250 cc displacement. Did I say 1250? I meant to say 1215. Sorry guys, it's been a long day. But it increased the horsepower up to 139 and it also bumped up fuel efficiency by 5%. In my honest opinion though, the major upgrade is the new WP suspension. This suspension system is simply fantastic. It's an electronically adjustable suspension setup with TSAS, and that stands for Triumph Semi-Active Suspension. This is basically a skyhook algorithm designed by Triumph engineers and is such a departure from the standard electronic WP suspension that we got to name it TSAS. Think about that for a minute. If you happen to know who owns WP, that's kind of a big statement. 
Basically, the rider modes work with the WP suspension as well as the lean angle, ABS, and traction control to give the rider complete on-the-go command of this bike. In short, it's just simply fantastic.